<laughs> okay. What's up, guys? This is another episode of Shigaboo's Shigaboo's podcast. Yes. Yes. So, we haven't done this in a while. Well, we could have done it sooner. <laughs> it was my bad. Because <laughs> here's, here's, here's the thing, people. There are times where, like, I feel like talking, but then she doesn't feel like yeah. talking. And vice versa. And then, yeah, it's just complicated. We have to be in a mood. We have to be in the same mood at I once. Think, I so, think that makes for a good podcast. Which is, that's why it took so <laughs> it took so long. So we apologize. Yeah. I wanted to do something a little different for this first topic because I've been holding this in for, like, so freaking long. And I just need to get it out there. Okay. And because here's the thing, I'm not saying this out of hatred. No, I w- I'm not. I'm just saying this just like based on what I think, Your opinion. my opinions, yeah. and and yeah. it's something I am really am sort of passionate slash sensitive about. Yeah. So yeah, yeah it'd be interesting to see other people's opinions about it as well. Yeah. So where do you want to start off with? All right. Well, I guess what we're talking about. Margarine or is it margarine? Margarine? I call it margarine. margarine. <laughs> I call it margarine management. I think it's margarine. Margarine. Something like that. Something like that. If you don't know what we're talking about, it's it's Joe Suggs and Casper Lee's management basically company. Yeah, content, you know, sort of talent yeah. spe- looking for talent and yeah. stuff. Sort of like Gleam that Zoe yeah. signed up yeah. to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you so, want to give it like a, a little mean, background? Yeah. Pretty much I guess what a talent agency does is mm-hmm. you know they kind of recruit these youtubers i guess they're all youtubers now <laughs> except for one recently. or you know online personalities yeah, yeah, or yeah. whatever mm-hmm. and kind of you know to help them grow to kind of be like a management team and all of that stuff but joe and casper are in charge yes that's the that's the main point is to remember this joe and casper are the ones in charge of margarine management i was really curious when they first announced it yeah I thought it would uh, be very interesting mm-hmm. to kind of see them start off that because you're like, okay, you know, maybe because they started off as YouTubers, they would have a different viewpoint as to like how to manage a talent agency. So mm-hmm. I was really curious. Yeah. Um, when the news broke out that they were doing this own like talent management agency, I was like pretty surprised. Like that, I never thought in seeing coming because like in the past they've always done Joe and Casper, you know, adventures. Yeah. I thought they were gonna go for more of a series because that would be entertaining yeah. for to watch. But a talent agency is sort of like you didn't see it. I didn't see that coming because right. I did not it, actually see them as like a serious. You know, like a business, like a business, business, yeah. so kind of type of people because they still look young, you yeah. know, they're sort of like young, yeah, you know, yeah. I get it though, yeah, you're like influencers, yeah. So, you know, this whole thing came about, yeah, and I so, guess they started it took a while to kind of get news about the talent agency, I guess they were kind of setting everything up. Then, I guess they started releasing right the, the, the first couple of names as to like, who yeah, was gonna be under their Cause agency because like, I remember, um, I was watching, I think Joe's one of Joe's vlogs mentioned that like the reason why he wanted to do this. Realistically, it spawned from ideas from two, three years ago. We always knew that we wanted to do something in this space of, you know, finding emerging YouTubers who may not ever get the chance to be seen or who may need a lot of help in getting to the point where they want to achieve certain things and stuff like that. And we're thinking nowadays it's probably harder than ever to do that because there's so many people trying to do the same thing. With the knowledge that Casper and I have in this space and like the experiences that we've been through, not just in terms of creating stuff, but also the business side of everything in terms of, you know, creating a YouTube channel, but then thinking, where'd you go from that? You know, you've got a YouTube channel, but is there anything else? Is, is it part of a bigger picture? And if so, there's a lot of those kind of things that we've done outside of YouTube. And so we thought it, it only made sense to create our own management company where we can, one, it's like a dream to find new people. It's so exciting for me and for Casper. Once those names started rolling out, right? Once, once the first few new people that was the new addition to the Margarine Management was announced, it didn't actually prove to me that they were serious about this. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty much the first people that they added to their talent scouting thing, whatever it was, were already 
friends of theirs. We're mostly um, people we are familiar with already. Yes. And I mean, at first, I guess personally, mm-hmm. I was like, okay, you know, it kind of makes sense that they maybe want to help out their current friends. Yeah. I was like, you know, oh, they'll roll out more names in the future. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> because like here's the thing um, I remember this that in the same blog where he, he says his reason why he wanted to do this he also mentioned like hey for all of you who are doing YouTube and stuff send us your direct messages on Instagram and a link you know in a like a screenshot of your YouTube channel and we'll check it out we'll check out your videos and we'll give you like an update and then I'm guessing I'm not surprised if there's like a whole bunch of like yeah. DMs that they had to like look through each and yeah. every other channel but I just feel like they're trying to make it the easy road. Try to go choose people around their own sort of right click of groups, people. Yeah. I guess there's been quite a few people that have been announced now, right? Yeah, probably people we already know. Yeah, and it was like siblings or friends of his, and then it was... Roommates or and, friends of Zoe. Yeah, and then also I think the part that was a little bit... and I don't want to say annoying, but... A little bit off was that all of these people pretty much look the same. Yeah. Um, like, like it's 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 not to say that you know. <sighs> there's not one you can relate directly. It's, it's it's kind of hard because you don't want to be like, oh, the stereotypical YouTuber, yeah. you know. But if we're talking honestly, mm-hmm. there is that stereotypical YouTuber and that. They have that stereotypical pretty girl. Yeah, they have that look. You good know. looking guy. Mm-hmm. And that's really all that we've seen. Yeah. For, like the talent that they're representing. And it's it's a little bit like, why is there no diversity here? Exactly. Like why why is it not like like you said, you started off saying we're doing this to <laughs> scout out people that are not you Who know are not gonna be discovered. Yeah, and then you show like the bio of these people and these are YouTubers and influencers that already have a, a, fan a base. good couple thousand yeah. subscribers mm-hmm. and that fit into that, you know, and it's like, why like no diversity? I guess yeah. that's... I think you had that like sort of same, cl- same complaint when Gleam had that support festival and they had like a whole like group shot of everyone oh, and yeah. there wasn't that yeah. much diverse yeah. as well. And it's just like, you know, especially them being YouTubers and them starting off this particular type of business, they could have taken this in in such a bigger, diverse Mm -hmm. way, you know? Yeah. I don't think us or me or you are saying, Mm -hmm. don't invite your friends. Because, no, like, Mm -hmm. sure, like, if you want to have friends in your talent agency, of course, you know? But... Also have other types of people mm-hmm. like you know, get people on there that have two hundred yeah subscribers that have sixty subscribers exactly you know, that aren't necessarily quote unquote pretty looking or, I know like you know average normal people you know yeah and it's not to say that pretty people aren't normal or average but but it's just like you know like the first a little yeah like the first two like when I saw those first I forgot their names but like the first two that were announced as like the new addition to yeah. Mar- Marguerite Management I was like oh obviously they clearly did not glance at their content <laughs> they clearly are ad- adding them just by the looks and just like that kind of what upsets me the most is just that they're not giving their word that what Joe is saying. Mm-hmm. They're not really actually taking risk in actually just going going from bottom to up. Instead, but instead of going the total opposite, they're going up to down. Yeah. And to me, I feel like that also shows that it's not really a professional, like serious business. You're just picking picking people that is around you yeah because i mean i'm pretty sure if you look at most of the people that are on you know mm-hmm. the influencers on their on their list or whatever yeah if you look at like their stuff i'm almost sure that most of them have a fan base already set in place like yeah. you said it's kind of like the easy way out mm-hmm. like you know yeah they're probably not as famous as a uh, Zoella or as yeah. a you know mm-hmm. Jeffrey Star exactly but they still have something and mm-hmm. you know you're not doing that thing that you first said which was to help somebody 
starting from the bottom. Yeah, you're just not taking that word and in, put into action. You're just like to- doing the total opposite. And I think I think one of the other ones that kind of bothered me was I think it was in an Insta story. Which- Welcome, Anna. You're my favorite Maynard. Um, and yeah, very excited. That's just what's upset me about it. It's yeah. just like you're doing this, but yet you're not keeping your word for it. You're not keeping, you're not ha- actually doing what you're supposed to be doing. And I know you're probably like, you might be busy, but you have to do the work first. You have to be serious about this. So you're, yeah. you're wanting to prove like, oh. Because this is a business. This is not just a YouTube video anymore. This, no. This is actually a business that you're trying to plan out. To me, that shows that's not really fair. Because like, yeah. then what was the point in you you asking your viewers, you know, to send them your their YouTube channels? Yeah. When you know, when you're most likely, they're going to pass you yeah. if you don't have the the numbers or the subscribers or whatever. So yeah, unfortunately, the looks as well. It's, I, exactly. Or the yeah. looks of it. Because I've seen, I think, I don't know. I don't know, like the beginnings of like the Gleam way like in the beginning. I think they were taking risks because like YouTube yeah. was a new thing. Yeah. And Zoella and then Jim and then his sisters, I think, around that time. Yeah. Or early Same. in the early days. They were taking risks, yeah, because they didn't know this was gonna. Everything blow up. was underground. Yeah. Everything was underground. They didn't know yeah. what they were going in for, but then look what happened. They're yeah. like, it's a big business now. Yeah, but that's how it's supposed to be. If yeah. you're gonna look for talent, you have to take risk. They're being more. Uh, they're being more like their YouTuber selves and not ac- actual yeah. business people. And you know what I started now that you mentioned that. Yeah. To me, what's coming to my head is Which was- now. Joe is on that dancing show. Yeah. He's not going to have time for Mark Gervain. No. Sorry if I've been pronouncing it wrong. It's a simple put it. And like, no, you're the head of this. I know you're... You, you, A, should not have taken on that. Exactly. Or B, should not have started the company until you were clear of anything other big. Because, I mean, this is a TV show. That's going to take a lot of your time. Yeah. You know? Mm Mm-hmm. And you have this huge business that you're just starting off. Mm-hmm. I mean, there are companies that have been going on for years, and they still have to be on top of their shit twenty four seven. Exactly. You're just starting off on your business, and you need to be even more on top of everything exactly. because you're just starting off. So any little thing that happens at the beginning is gonna affect the rest of your company. Mm-hmm. You know. If you have to be really serious about this, don't yeah. slack off on this. Your OG YouTube, like, yeah. don't, like, you're... Uh, don't take the think, easy road. No, not even just that. Like, mm-hmm. think about it. Like, they are OG YouTube. Exactly. When YouTube blew up, they were blowing up as well. Exactly. Don't let this be something else that typical celebrities, typical Hollywood things, oh, they're just a bunch of YouTubers. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they don't know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. You're giving them something to talk about and say they don't know what they're doing. You're giving the example. Exactly. Yeah. You could take this and be like, we're going to take this and we're going to make people. You we're going to show them that we're We're going to show them. And instead, you're like giving these haters that were always against YouTube another thing to talk about. Exactly. Like, like, be on top of this. Just, yeah. just be on top of this. Bring more diverse into this group yeah. and take, most importantly, because this is how Gleam was before, take risk. Don't yeah. take the easy way. And just like, oh, hey, you, you're a friend of mine. You have already have yeah. like a million new, you know subscribers. Come and join us. Yeah. Then that shows like a bad example, a bad role model right there. Yeah. And, and plus, I think, what's his name? Zoe's friend. Mark. Mark. He already has a million. He yeah. already has like a million yeah. viewers. What was the point of that? What was the freaking point of that? Yeah. He does. I'm, I love Mark. Yeah, yeah. Sure, he could sign up, but it would have been better if he wouldn't have done it earlier. Like yeah. back in his like a thousand or so, yeah. you know, plus subscribers. But no, that just shows yeah. not. That's not what wor- your words, Joe, is not what you were standing for. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> As you can tell how I'm passionate and serious about this, because that's how, for me, I stand up for the little guys. What sucks about this also, one last thing, is that he has the platform. He has, like, the platform to actually, 
like he's I think he said in the vlog like I could have some people go under my wing and help them out rise up a little bit yeah but you're actually flying amongst your same people that is in the same yeah. group as you that's also like uh... If I had a message for Joe as well. If Joe, you're listening? <laughs> if you're listening here in this podcast. Be, okay. Okay. Think of like early YouTube, right? Let me early. set a little scenario for you. Yes. Let's all calm down and... <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get heated okay. up. Think about this little scenario, right? It's old YouTube. It's early YouTube, okay? Okay. This is going to Joe. <laughs> okay. This is for Joe, you guys. Okay. I'm like, just... Just... You don't even have to think that much. Just go back to when you remember seeing Zoe start up her first videos. And I'm not being like, you know, the, the people that crack the jokes of like, oh, that's Zoe's ex-brother. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, no, Joe. Like, you've done your own identity. You've done your own thing. You are a separate identity from your sister. We know that. Yeah. But just think about her. Like, think about... Like, when she started off, it was baby YouTube. It, it was, was like baby. early YouTube. Like, yeah. Think of, like, remember, like, how hard it was probably for her to, you know, build up her channel slowly mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah. doing it with, like, little, little camcorders and things like that. <laughs> and, you know, it's like, like, just remember seeing her do that. And it's like, how would you feel if you, you, you saw her put all that work into it and then all of a sudden somebody with, with millions of subscribers was like, starting up a mm. talent company and you know we're doing what you're doing now like don't you think that would be like so upsetting to like think about you know what i mean like yeah. you have one of the biggest examples mm -hmm. of what it is to make it big like zoe didn't join um gleam until like quite a bit halfway between like her i think her rise i think it was after jim like yeah jim and tanya and like she built this empire on her own for the most part for a long time. The longest time. You know, mm -hmm. and it's like, take that and like, it's it's just like... Put it into consideration. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, like I said, you have one of the biggest like examples of what it is to make it big on your own and mm -hmm. like, what it would have been for her to maybe get the help earlier on. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, management honestly didn't exist when she was starting to do it, but... Yeah. You know, like, yeah. Yeah, it's just like you may never know. You're just, maybe there's going to be another Zuella out there. There yeah. could have been another Tanya exactly. out there. There could have been another Jim or Joe out there. But all I can say is, Marguerite Management. I'm going to end this here, right? It's <laughs> this, okay. this like, oh, girl, come down. <laughs> I'm like steaming up on this. All, I can, all, I'm, all I'm saying is Joe or Casper or for any of the people working in that management industry, all I'm saying is, Marketing management could either blow up or burn out. Nice. Nice topic. Nice Thank topic. you. <laughs> Even though I didn't take from the jar. All right. Okay, so. So that was a little, like, topic that we really wanted to talk about. Yeah, because, like. Now we're going to reach into the, top, the jar topic. The jar topic. Okay. Was that everything that you wanted to say, though? You got everything off your chest? Yeah. I feel like it, it was felt like good therapy, but okay. it just had to come out. Because, like, I am sensitive, especially with us. Especially yeah. seeing from our point of view as yeah. like little channels, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this. You're gonna go with this one? Okay. Should I open it or should you open it? Do you want me to open it? Yeah. Okay, open it. <laughs> <laughs> you open it. Okay. Okay. So this is gonna be your second topic, topic of, of the day. day. <laughs> ah! <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for headphone users everywhere. I'm <laughs> I thought you saw something. What is it? Oh, uh, my god what i it? love you for this <laughs> <laughs> what did i put what's the topic of the day tv shows new girl friends will and grace yeah we had just, we had just finished watching a couple of friends and will and grace episodes oh so my god so oh my gosh okay so should we one of each or should we choose one or should i we... think let's start off like which was the shows that you started off with in that oh category. my god in that category i guess it was new girl New Girl? Yeah. Was this before or after Friends? I feel like that was before Friends. Because <gasps> I was actually a really late bloomer with Friends. Okay. For the longest time, it was just like on whatever was on reruns on TV. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until like later on, like way later. What? Like I was in college when I started. Oh, like, wow. back in the day. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't know. How should we take this? I mean, it's a lot. I mean, okay. Like... First of all, 
you are starting to get me into friends. Yes. Yes. Because, yes. like, like her, I'm a late bloomer. Yeah. But yet, my family, my mom and my sister, were obsessed with it. Yeah. So they know the, the episodes by Everybody. heart. Yeah. Which I don't. I'm teaching her. <laughs> I'm starting to learn it. I'm starting to learn even though it's my first try, first watch. Yeah. And like, it's but amazing. but yeah. Then also, every now and then, they always put it on TV. Yeah. Every reruns. Yeah. So whenever I read, I just leave it in the background. Yes, it's perfect. <laughs> Which I never pay that much attention to. Yeah. But now I know. You will. <laughs> now I know I will, cause like I'm really loving the characters. I I get kind of get why everyone's obsessed with yeah. the, with everyone, and the. I think it's a very timeless show as well. Like, it is. Like it's something that you can put on and the jokes will still be funny. I think if you were still, like, a 90s kid... Yeah. You could get, like, most of the references. Amazing cameos. Mm. Oh, definitely. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. excited. To the I'm so excited. And I think it's a show with a lot of really good character development as well. That's true. Because, you know, first first couple of seasons, it was, like, you know, baby them. And baby like, them. It's, it's cute. I'm in the baby years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the baby years. But then, like, you, you see the show progressively... Both in the acting and the characters and the stories and everything just mature and like but still be funny and it's I don't know it's just to me it's one of those rare TV shows that could go on for ten seasons mm -hmm. and still be funny like straight to end like yep. you know there's a lot of shows that I think lose momentum like mm -hmm. near the end or like there's a couple seasons that you're like I don't really like that yeah Friends is like. All the way. All the way. Like, I'm surprised just, by that. Yeah. Literally all the way. Literally all the way. All, There's not a bad season. All the 10 seasons. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And that's very rare. Yeah. That's the, what I mean. Like, it's, it's really rare. But, yeah, I'm excited for you to see the rest. Yes. But so far, I am relating more to Monica. I don't know why. Yeah. I feel like you're more of a Monica. <laughs> I am a Monica. And I want her hair. Yeah. <laughs> I want all the outfits, too. Yeah. It, it's a trend now. The whole outfits. Yeah. yeah. You can find it in Forever 21, Urban Outfitters, all 90s yeah. inspired clothes. So I'm really excited. But which, you. of course, you love Ross, right? As far as the guys? The guys. I had a... <laughs> Spill it, girl. Spill it, cheese. Okay. Mine, of course, was always Ross, because I was always the, oh, the Ross and Rachel, you know? <laughs> He's her lobster, if you know what that means. <laughs> if you're, you're a fan of the show. Um, but I always had a thing for Chandler as well. You love Chandler? <laughs> oh, my God. Like, he's so sarcastic, but I love it. Mm -hmm. And, like, he's really cute looking in, in a lot of the seasons. Back in the day, yeah. Yeah. Um, it right was just so upsetting afterwards. So hearing about his his drug addiction and yeah. all that oh as God. the show was going on, and mm -hmm. like that's something that you honestly didn't notice, I guess, when it you know first aired. But mm -hmm. now that you can look through the seasons, you can see definitely a, a fluctuation in his weight and like the way that he looks and like oh, like and do you know what like in one like particular I think it was season, the last season, oh last couple seasons, yeah, okay. like it was kind of scary as well because I know he mentioned in an interview as well that. There is like a good two seasons that he has no memory of because he was on drugs. Wow. And like, you know, it's just crazy. Like, have you seen him right now? I don't think I've seen him recently. He looks like a hobo. He does. I saw him in like in Jimmy Kimmel and he did not like dress up for the cage. He looked like he just came oh out of the God. bed or something like that. But yeah. he's working. <laughs> he's yeah. working. Yeah. So I always had a thing for him too. But yeah, I, but right now I'm really loving the friends, you know, friends. Yeah. The theme song's catchy now. Yay. <laughs> was, I'm into the theme song. Yeah. And I'm just excited to see what sort of, like, character development is with yeah. all the characters. Yeah. In, like, especially the relationships. Yeah. How they got... How are they going to get... Yeah. <laughs> doing it. Going to get it. And... Yeah, and also the, the celebrity cameos that you told me there's a whole bunch. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Which I'm excited for the Brad Pitt one. Oh my god, that was so funny. I'm excited for the Brad Pitt. Because he plays somebody that hates Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> but he's going out with her at that time. Yeah, they were going out. Yeah. 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 So, I'm excited. And just like I am showing you, friends, you're showing me Will and Grace. Yes! For those of you, I love Will and Grace. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know, like, why I never watched. Will and Grace, cause like it came mm -hmm. like around the sort same of sort of same time as Friends. Yeah. Which, weirdly guilty, I was watching more of Will and Grace then than Friends, it. cause I just love it's sort of different for me, cause like it was more about like the the gay community 
having a roommate that is not really your lover or your boyfriend. Mm-hmm. But it was different at the time. Yeah, it was different at the time. Yeah. It was more of your friend, your gay friend, and I love Jack. And then there's Karen. <laughs> Although, you know what I've heard a lot of people say? What? It started off as a Will and Grace show, but it ended up as a as a as a Karen and <laughs> It is. <laughs> <laughs> Karen and Jack. They're like, we 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 came for Will and Grace, but we stayed for Karen. <laughs> Because it's true. It, yeah. It's just like... It definitely turned into a foursome. It definitely turned into a yeah. foursome. Yeah. Yeah. About basically dating. I just love them. And then like... It's, yeah. Society yeah. and then that sort of thing. Yeah. But again, I think the show that the jokes kind of withstand the... Yeah. The test I feel test. like in some certain cable shows, they do put that show still on TV. Yeah. And it's still funny all the way through. Yeah. But... It's really good. I do have to say the one different thing about you know the seasons there's mm-hmm. always that one bad season they had a bad season they had a bad season is it near the end or like it's actually the final season oh no yeah what happened <laughs> <laughs> what did happen this is why they had to renew the show oh did a lot of fans not like the ending don't did tell not, me the ending I won't tell you the ending but it's just it like wasn't good. it wasn't that good but that's why they had the the new season eh. and they literally had to explain the audience is like eh. That never happened. <laughs> sort of like that. <laughs> Got it. So I'm very looking forward yeah, to it. And it's really it. funny, even the, the new season to, you know, on NBC right now. I have yet to. I'm you have yet to. Though. But you're going to watch it either way. <laughs> what do you mean? What's the other one? You mean New Girl? New yeah. Girl! Oh my God. Okay, guys. now, where, first of all, where did you hear about New Girl in the first place? When they first started announcing it. Really? So I was going into my first year of college. I remember this clearly. Yeah. And I was a huge fan of Zoe Deschanel to begin with. She's pretty. Oh, God, gorgeous. So, <laughs> so I had first heard it through her because I was like, oh, it's going to be this new show. And then Zoe was kind of going to be the lead. And mm-hmm. yeah, it just seemed like a really cute show. I don't know. And then I guess I told you about it. Mm-hmm. We did start watching it. Yeah. Like as it went live the first season. But then life kind of happened. Yeah, life kind of happened and, and we, we just stopped. stopped and we didn't get back to it until like... We got Netflix. Six years later <laughs> six or something like that. Like, yeah. No, five. I think five-ish. Yeah, more like five-ish. I remember it actually came up on Netflix. Yes, it yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I had just, you know, got Netflix and I was like, oh, I'm, oh this, I was like, well, this is a show that we started watching. Yeah. And that, everything you never, kind of... <laughs> you, never came, you never came back. <laughs> <laughs> I never came back. Uh, fell in love. Yeah. I think all of the cast in that series is mm-hmm. amazing. It, it's another th- show that I really love because it's super funny. The cast, yeah. amazing. Yeah. Perfect casting. It, mm, yeah, perfect casting. What were you going to say? Because, like, the only thing that I was kind of disappointed is the from the very first episode, I thought the coach was going to be official one. But then oh, he had to move it. to a different show. <laughs> yeah. And then, but yeah. then now again, he, he came back. He, he came, came back. back. Yeah. I forgot what his name, but like. Coach. Coach. Yeah. <laughs> the actor who played Coach. Damon Wayans. Damon Wayans, yeah. 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 And he's funny. He's yeah. like super funny. But every now and then he does come back for the show. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> <laughs> but another interesting intake on about this show is that it also talks about a guy, a girl living with three guys. Yeah, exactly. That has never talked about before. Yeah, and yeah. you never really thought about it because, like, usually it's about a girl with living with a guy, with a guy. or with an ex or yeah. with a friend or gay friend. But this is just three guys yeah. in, in one. <laughs> yeah. So it just brings a whole lot of yeah. adventure and stories. Like, you know, even, like, before the romance has started or whatever, mm-hmm. it was a lot of them forming this really interesting kind of family yeah. in their group and, mm-hmm. like... You know, it's something that literally started off with main character Jess. Yeah. Seeing an ad on Craigslist about a, <laughs> about an apartment, yeah. you know, opening. And you kind of get to see how, you know, they start caring about each other. And mm-hmm. it's like, you know, they're, they're four completely strangers to one another. And then mm-hmm. they form this kind of relationship. Bond and yeah. Relationship. And then. <laughs> it did take a little adjustment at first. Yeah. Because, like, three guys and one girl. She was very different. <laughs> Definitely different. We're talking, like, bubbly, like... Oh, sorry about that. Okay. 
We're talking like she 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 plays as like really bubbly like perky perky like hyper just hyper <laughs> like character and like she's like a a Pinkie Pie she's, for like, <laughs> like, she's like a Pinkie Pie so different to these guys yeah. and like it's so ah uh, uh, but then again even the guys have are going through issues as well yeah and that she kind of helps them as well with yeah. Them. Um, Nick and Jess. Nick and Jess. For me, it was Schmidt and Cece. And she, yeah. Definitely Schmidt and Cece. I love Cece so much. I love the romance in this. Yeah. And I love, um... Ferguson. 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 Yeah. Ferguson. Winston. Yes. And also Winston and the... Oh, what's her... Co- the cop. Oh, oh, uh, Allie. 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 Uh, Winston and Allie. Winnelly. Winnelly. <laughs> They were so cute. Yeah. I can't even. And uh, can, I, uh, can I ask you something? Yeah. Do you think this show sort of like goes in the same category as Friends where you can see it on repeat every now and then? Oh, yeah. I don't think I'll sort ever like, get bored of Sort of like the Isla Lucy you see it every now and then on TV, <laughs> yeah. but this would be yeah. New Girl instead. Yeah. Like in 20 years from now. Yeah. I mean... You know, like you said, there's always there is like a always good a season and a half mm-hmm. near the end where I think we can all agree with Reagan. Yep, uh, raisin, go away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's always that one bad oh, season. And like, uh, okay, the one thing that to me still is like I per- like I love the ending. Okay, yeah, I love the finale. I'm not going to spoil anything because some of you guys may not have seen the ending. But I love the ending. Mm-hmm. But I still think Nick and Jess deserve better. Oh, really? Um, nah, you never told me this. <laughs> now you're getting those me. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> See, I adored the whole end goal of Schmidt and Cece. Yeah. I think that was so funny and, like, perfect and romantic and mm-hmm. everything. Everything, yeah. From... The engagement to the actual wedding exactly. to everything like mm-hmm. it was so nicely detailed and just I think perfect for their relationship couple yeah and I just still feel like the Nick and Jess plotline was so rushed yeah because we lost I just think that whole Reagan thing should have been cut off yeah like we could have had so much Nick and Jess mm-hmm. like. Because, like, I feel like when they were going out, you know, earlier, yeah. they were actually a little bit paranoid of how long they were going to yeah. stay together. Of a long-term thing. Of a long-term thing. Yeah. They weren't used to that. Yeah. But they were, they what they wanted. Yeah. But they didn't know how. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But then at the end, they had this whole... Because he wanted to live on Mars. <laughs> he wanted to live on Mars. <laughs> he believed in the horses that comes from space. <laughs> it's Russia for the finale. Yeah, I like... I don't know, like, I just, I, I would have loved to... <sighs> there were hints here and there, like, oh, we can see one of the characters mature, like Nick. Yeah. Like, yeah. understands, like, oh, this is, was what Jess wanted yeah. in the first place. Yeah. Which, which he didn't had in the first time. <laughs> this is how much I love the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, yeah, I get it, though, yeah. I, I, I feel like I needed more Nick and Jess at the end. Well, you did tell me there was an alternate ending in that yes. one. What you call that journalist thing? The... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but that wasn't, like, for the end end. It was for, like, the, the end of the season before the last season. Does that make yeah. sense? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you may never know. They might include it, like, for a bonus feature in the box oh, set. No. Then we would have seen what like, could have been. I just, like, I'm... <sighs> Even if it would have been, like, five episodes of, like, mm-hmm. you're in Nick and Jess. I know. Like, it was, like, short, though, the last it was. season. And, like, I wanted to see cute dates. I wanted to see, you know, funny conversations. Mm-hmm. I wanted to see... Uh, we could spoil it if you want. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, do you remember that episode? There was that episode where, I guess, um, oh, Nick had found the a dog house that he wanted to get for Schmidt. Yeah. And he like was like so angry because he didn't pick it up for him. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess they were I guess Nick and Jess were gonna have like a date that day. Mm-hmm. And then Jess is like, Oh that's okay, we'll just have date night when we're married, you know? Oh yeah, I remember like, that. Give me that. Yeah. Like, I wanted to see that. Like I, 
Even if it was just, you know, them going on for coffee. like I know. Uh, but then oh. it did feel a little oh. bit rushed. <laughs> but what do you... But... Also, I wish I would have seen Nick's mom again. I know. We didn't see Nick's mom. Okay, that's one thing. They, we didn't see any of, like, his family members. Okay, and Coach wasn't even in it. Yeah. That was the only thing that was missing. Which I kind of complained about. I was like, where's yeah. Coach? He was supposed to be there from the beginning. Yeah. But they ended up together. Yeah, they ended up together. Cute. Which I was pretty. Were you pretty satisfied with the whole? Yeah, we're gonna talk about a spoiler. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna talk about a spoiler. <laughs> if you don't want to hear, cover your ears. Were you satisf- satisfied about the wedding? The wedding. <sighs> I'm conflicted <laughs> because part of me agrees with that whole thing where it's like nothing's ever going to be perfect with the two of them exactly like everything has just been so crazy with the two of them so yeah i get it and that was really cute and like but part of me also wanted that really cute wedding mm-hmm. of like everything and like that we build up for yeah like mm-hmm. a build up like oh my god like we had so- <laughs> anyways i'm just glad they ended up together yeah Bless you, Jake Johnson, as well, because he fought for that last season. Like he went, he went to the out. management offices. And was like, <laughs> I need Nick and Jess to finish. He story. went all out to save this series. Yeah, did, did you? Did I ever tell you that? You haven't told me that. Yeah, like he was just like he took basically fans were like there was like this whole hashtag movement that was going oh, wow. on to like renew New Girl for one more season, mm-hmm. and Fox was still very fifty fifty on whether they were going to. Yeah. So, I was going to call him Nick. <laughs> you can call him Nick if you want. <laughs> Jake takes, you know, all of this, and he physically goes to the Fox offices mm-hmm. with Liz, which is the creator of the show. Yeah. And in person, they go and they're like, we need to have a last season because, wow. like, our fans have been so, like, incredibly supportive and, like, mm-hmm. we can't just not give them a, a final closure, you know what I mean? Exactly, yeah. This is amazing! Aww. Like, he was honestly the biggest nest shipper. <laughs> he is! Surprisingly, he's, like, the biggest nest shipper. It's like, nope, this not gonna happen. <laughs> let's make this happen right now. So, bless Jake for that. Let's, let's give him a little... And I hope, like, everyone who worked on the show move on to, like, new and better things. I yeah. know the guy who plays Schmidt is in a new series. Max. Max, I th- Max, 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 Max Greenfield. Max Greenfield. I can never. I only know from their character <laughs> name. It's not their real name. Yeah, like he's in that new The Neighbor show. Yeah, the na- like if we, if I see Zoe Deschanel, I was like, Jess. Yes. <laughs> Is that you, Jess? <laughs> I think that's gonna be something like like how you know like mm-hmm. Friends and Will and Grace and all of that. Like, yeah. They will be remembered from these characters exactly. for a long time. Definitely for a long time. Because I think it's. In 20 it, years though. from now, and I, I think I remember there was this, like, I don't know if you saw it. It was in their uh, Will and Grace, like, on Instagram. They posted, like, a group shot with uh, the creators Yay. in the beginning. And then, like, fast forward to now with the same pose and stuff yeah. like that. I was like, I want that to happen with New Girl yes. as well. I would be totally up for a reunion, like, in 10 years' time. I yes, that would be please. So cute. That would be amazing. Because, like, think of how hilarious... It would be to see Schmidt and Cece deal with a teenage <laughs> <laughs> Like a reunion like episode for yes. once. That would be amazing. They had a baby boy. Oh. And they actually named him Reginald Bill Jansen. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they would name him Reggie for sure, yeah. as far as long name. So Reggie. And plus, to add all of this, yeah. with friends and new girl, I have never seen someone like you. That knows every single word I do. of every single episode, I <laughs> which I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's because it's just gonna consist constantly on on rerun. Wow, is that gonna be me? Yes, yes. yes. Is that gonna be me now? It's gonna be you. I'm scared. I'm, scared. I'm terrified. What's gonna happen? Yes, yes. And plus the merch and all the stuff. I know. So I think both all three amazing shows. Yes, we love them. We love them so much, and yes. hopefully they do re- continue doing reruns yes. from years to come. Till we have our little babies, yes. and I have my puppies, and we'll watch it together in the couch. Yes. <laughs> so, do you want to do one more short one, or I that's it? You're good? good. Yeah. The first topic was like a heated yeah. thing. I was like, we're gonna go all out. <laughs> we we have a good amount of time. We have a good amount of time, and it's awesome. Yes. So, also, one last thing. Um, 
give us your thoughts on these topics. Yeah, really like if you love Will and Grace or New Girl or Friends, comment down below it. Yeah, or if you have also your thoughts on this whole Margaret Rain management in issue or incident or whatever, mm-hmm. <laughs> comment down below. We would love to know what are your actual honest thoughts about this because mm-hmm. it would mean a lot to us that maybe we're not alone in this yeah maybe we're not alone in thinking these sort of like ideas about yeah, it just share your thoughts and share your thoughts so yeah so again we're sorry for the lateness of this <laughs> podcast we promise well i don't know about october don't rush me into it i know but i'm just saying based on october is gonna be insane yeah we're gonna have to maybe november Probably no. We're gonna move to October's episode to November. Yeah, and we're just gonna take it easy. Yes. <laughs> we're definitely gonna take it easy. So, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy this po- episode of podcast. Is there any last words you want to say? Uh, 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 I'd like to know what are you guys' favorite TV show of all time? I guess yeah, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I mean. Hearing or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Hearing or watching. Yeah. Whatever. whatever. <laughs> uh, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Please do subscribe to our podcast. We'll be doing more episodes in the future. Yeah. And we also have individual channels in case you want to check it's in the li- other stuff out. In the link description below yeah. in every episode you see. <laughs> and yeah, so we'll see you guys later in the next episode of Sugar Boobs Podcast. So bye. Toodles.